Okay, guys, time for Grand Dice Are You Episode 4. Yes, Episode 4. Starting off, of course, we got a nice little intro here, basically showing just, you know, the beauty of Planet Fleet and Nida singing with Duke playing the guitar. A uh, very electric looking guitar that sounds <laughs> like a wooden guitar. So he's just playing there. And Nida is singing, of course, on the water with two cute furry animals all around them. Well, giving a bunny. Bunny. And quite clearly, you know, it looks like we're best friends. Yeah, childhood friends. It's more like, yeah, she's in love with him. So we know that. Those are her earrings. Don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm talking about the earrings right now because they're gonna play a role. So, yeah, basically, you know, happier times. But then you get Koji talking to Sayaka at the Photon Lab, you know, and Sayaka's worried that she should be that maybe Naida is a spy, somebody evil, and Koji's like, well, if something's bad gonna happen, it's gonna happen when you know there has to be some outside force has to come and help her right it's pretty much what he's saying and so yeah kind of like, like oh yeah i'm really sure i'm pretty sure that's what you're saying so got Nida here still singing and duke still you know playing the guitar they're both really happy here by the way i said planning flee they're actually on earth um also they're Koji says that, like, yeah, they're, he tells Sayaka, hey, they're not really alone. We got drones and stuff spying on them. So, yeah. We we know that this version of Koji is a little bit too hardcore. So, Duke gets pissed off. You know, he's like, Rubina's dead. Uh, and she's like, yeah, okay, yeah. And, ooh, ooh, oh, yeah, backstabbing much? Yeah, backstabbing much. So she's gonna stab Duke because that's her mission, you know. She's gonna stab him. And Duke is just pouring all out and Duke doesn't really see, you know, Duke and Duke. Duke is getting Duke. <laughs> so there we go. She's about to stab him and then something's like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, I shouldn't. I remember that. I think he was saying, you know, when we were younger. And then look who it is! Yes, the girl that said, I'm gonna marry this guy. Yeah, she's here now. How'd she get there? We don't know. She's just there. So, Naida's like, oh, fuck. And she hides her blade, of course. Then we get the intro. You know, so... Karu there and they're just talking at Professor Yumi's office, you know, just talking there, all of them. And basically Hikaru, she's like, oh, she's talking about, you know, the spacers and stuff. Not really about the spacer, but you know, just her island. And these two are just, you know. Pretty much love burning. You know, and Koji's happy. You know, they, everybody's having a good time. Nothing really crazy is being mentioned. Except for here. As you can see, she looks a little bit too happy. With some regrets. And they start talking about, you know, their childhood. The plant, of, in plant fleet. You guys can see there. More than friends. Or Rubina, it looks like. Oh, and looks like they have quite a few friends and quite a few adventures, of course. And she's like, ah, I'm not feeling well. I'm going to go I'll go to bed. And he's like, okay, I'll take you. And Kikaru's like, yeah. Kikaru's like, yeah, that bitch is faking. Oh, and Kado is like, oh. Yeah, it's about time. It's about time I get the hell out of here. He tucks her in. 
<laughs> and, and he tucks her in and she's like, oh, I'm gonna kill you right now. You can see the blade. Because the window is... And she's like, Wah. you can see her face. She's like, hurry up. Bring your back. But he doesn't. So, another fail. And she tried to... Minecraft herself and she wasn't able to. Then we, of course, we cut to the... Bad guys here, to the vegans. And they're like, okay, she's not doing it. Well, let's do it for real. And they press the button. Mind control. Yeah, remember, every time you have a tiara, just like Broly, you're getting mind control. So, they mind control her. And they send her into this weird nightmare look to her, where she sees Grandizer pretty much being evil and killing everything. Of course, you got a sweet car there. Probably Koji's. And they're just, you know, talking. And he tells them about Nida and Planet Flea. And how everything was happy. And there were childhood friends and all that stuff. And Grandizer and Rubina. And of course, he, he's still wearing the ring. He's like, I still have this ring that's a bomb that's actually a bomb. Uh, I'll give it to this Koji. Uh, he's pretty smart. He's pretty smart, you know. And then Naida just starts walking all the way here. Yeah. And that earring can hack stuff from the looks of it. So she unlocks the door, goes to Kado. And basically tells him, hey, we're gonna be getting out of here pretty soon. He's like, oh yeah, getting out of here. So, for some reason, the high-tech aliens don't figure out that humans have cameras. So, uh, Professor Yumi calls Sayaka. Sayaka wakes up. And he's like, oh, Sayaka, Aida is moving pretty suspiciously. You better go. Get your weapon. And she's locked and she's loaded. Ready to go. Which... It's gonna be a little bit disappointing. So, Duke is up there playing his guitar, lonely at night. Ida comes out. He's like, oh, Duke, look. I'm wearing the outfit, the old one. It looks like, damn. Duke's like, damn. Rubina's dead, so why not? He throws herself at Duke. And she just goes crazy. She just goes crazy, yeah. She just goes crazy instead of being like hey duke come here dookie and no let's do the naughty duke nope nah she just goes crazy she she just goes full karen there that's gonna that's gonna be the thumbnail that's gonna be the thumbnail <laughs> and she stabs him she actually stabs the guy and everybody's like oh my god shocker nah Koji's asleep. Koji's sleeping. He's like, oh, I better work up. I don't know. Something feels weird. Let's go. And look at that. The vegans are coming. Yeah. Coming with their broccoli spaceship. The asparagus. Fuck that shit, man. Fire takes your veganism down. Pretty darn easy. <laughs> so this thing. There's a laser there. Uh, yeah, laser hits the satellite. It's destroyed. I don't know what's actually coming. The big force. But do you know that it's heading toward the fourth on lab? Like always. The one thing here is Dr. Hell has only appeared like his forces have only appeared one episode. So that leads me to think that maybe first season is just going to be the vegans or the Vegas. I know it's Vega, but I call them the vegans. And then it's going to be Dr. Hell. For season 2. And she just stabs him. And she's going to go again. But no. No, she's finding the mind control back. Talks about Grandizer. And he's like, oh, I killed Siryu. 
and Siryu was basically her lover from the looks of it. So Sayaka and Koji are like, okay, let's go. You know, and he's like, I killed Rubina. He's like, yeah, you killed everybody. You killed the whole planet. And the mind control hits again. And here she goes again to stab him. And what does Koji do? No, Koji doesn't tackle her. He, he just pushes Duke away. I don't know why. And Sayaka has her gun. And this is... Look. Look, look at this. Sayaka has her gun, right? She let her... Knocked it out. First of all, Sayaka, you have a gun. She has a knife. You have the range. Get back a little bit more. They came and shoot. You're gonna hit her before she hits you. But she didn't do that. Gun lesson 101. So her gun gets knocked out. And now she has a knife and a gun. So now this is a pretty bad situation. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna kill Duke. Oh! Yeah, that just happened. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> she just froze the gun. Not casually. She's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna throw this away. Really? Oh man. That, I, I, at least, you know, it, it makes sense. Kinda. Because she now doesn't want to kill Duke and she's now in love with Duke. But guess what? Nope! Uh-uh. They already stabbed you once, dude. Don't be surprised. I don't know why he's so surprised and so scared of. Because she's gonna stab you again. Uh, and yeah, and you're bleeding out like a lot. If you don't believe me... Oh. So... The vegans, the vegas, are coming down. Pretty fast, you know. They're on their way. Of course, you got the reverse. Oh, should we go with the reverse of the inside out? I think the inside out um, are in Ashura, pretty much. Makes sense. But they're just talking about oh, our forces are coming. Yes, we have this. Uh, we haven't heard back from her, or we haven't seen Grandizer. Grandizer hasn't deployed yet, so I think we did it. I think we got them. And, you know, they're just talking there. And she lets Duke get up. Duke offers his, his hand. Like her. She gets up and... It's gonna surprise you guys. They're like, Oh, the kiss is coming. No. She rejects it. Mind control again. They still haven't figured out, hey... The thing that glows here, the, the little glowy thing, maybe that's what you have to get rid of. It doesn't happen anymore. And she goes like, oh no, dude. Boom. <laughs> Another stab. Yeah. Uh, you think I'm joking? No. Look. Stab. And everybody's surprised. Everybody's surprised again. He's like, it's okay. She keeps stabbing me. And then Duke riding his unicorn. Yeah, the guy had a unicorn. And they and he remembers oh that one time she hurt her hand and he bandaged it up and that's where she fell in love with him. You know, and then she saw him got her heart broken because he she saw him proposing to Rubina and she's jealous and then the that person see you, I think it is. I don't know. It's a mess. Throws the knife away. And dude collapses because the dude you got stabbed a few times pretty badly. And then she puts <laughs> she puts this to, to stop the bleeding. But but check it out. This is like, this is like Duke's pretty much dead. Duke is pretty much dead there. The photon lab activates his shields and they call the ambulance this is what they call it. I don't know why it should be the med team. But yeah, the medics are working on him, but he's looking pretty bad. And Naida finally sees the threat incoming. She takes the 
bomb because she says that she has a bomb also he's like okay i'm gonna make this right duke don't worry and she gives him a kiss and she just runs away taking him to the hospital pretty much to get in her little chip lies over there and then this happens duke is okay he's fine like he's ready to go how he, he healed up pretty fast but she's like nah F it and there we go boom she blew up I guess you could say by the way the bomb is positioned where the bomb is at you know where the bomb is at pretty much and the face she makes, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can say that she reached her climax there. <laughs> Sorry guys, I have to put that in. You just have to, it was too obvious. <laughs> so she blows up, she's dead. She's dead, looks like she's dead dead, I don't think she's coming back. Duke just standing there crying and going, Nida! And there you go. They, they flash back here, you know, showing you some better times. Of them in the end credits. And that's pretty much it. So that was the whole episode. So next time episode five of course Maria arrives. So Maria Fleet is gonna be joining in the next episode. I gotta say this episode was actually pretty interesting. I mean yeah, it wasn't like the best episode I think out of all of them of the first four I think this is the weakest one I mean we didn't see any mech battles uh, we knew what was gonna happen with Nida and the only thing that was like was the self-sacrifice pretty much but the all the other stuff like we knew um, we didn't see Massinger C we don't know if it's being repaired or not yet so uh, to go up in the air but still uh good episode good episode um for now but the weakest of the first four so we'll see what's gonna happen next week so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time